Hello, my name is Joe Murray. I'm a gastroenterologist in the Celiac Disease Program at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester. Today I'm talking to you about a issue of um, what are the pathways that lead to celiac disease injury and damage in the intestine. We know celiac disease is characterized by injury to the small intestine. It can affect other parts of the body, but the damage we think starts in the intestine. And while we know gluten is essential for the disease to occur, we know that genetics play an important role. It turns out that the actual process by which damage occurs is much more complicated. And it probably requires more than one hit, as it were, to the immune system to produce the damage and the disease. In a recent paper published by Dr. Seti and Al and colleagues um, from um, New York, Chicago and Italy, as well as myself, we've examined the mechanisms that can lead to the damage in the intestine. And what this paper shows is that there are probably more than one, maybe even more than two different pathways that interact, we use the term synergistically. That is that the combination of both of these activated pathways, as it were, is worse than, the com than just adding the two together. And it is this synergism that results in the injury. Now what does this mean for the future? Well, one thing it means is that there are, we need to understand more about what's triggering the disease. It's not just gluten. Well, gluten, gluten is required, but there has to be something else that's going on that perhaps causes the body to lose its ability to tolerate gluten. It also raises the possibility of other targets that might be um, things that we could intervene with as ways of treating or helping with the treatment of celiac disease in the future. It illustrates that there's, we know a lot about celiac disease, but there's still a lot to know. Thank you.